Hi there everyone, this is Jed. In this particular video I'll be talking about energy healing and in-person healing versus distance healing. One common question that people ask is whether or not distance healing is as effective as coming in person for a healing session. And this is a reasonable question and a logical one. And the answer isn't a simple, straightforward, black and white yes or no answer because there are multiple variables that can influence how effective any particular healing session is. If we think about what healing is, what occurs during a healing session, we can recognize that healing, in a sense, is an inside job. It's something that the individual, the person, or organism is manifesting for itself, perhaps using the external stimulus, the frequencies or energies that are provided in order to shift its own internal state it's the own internal energy field and energy flow. So when you're a practitioner providing a healing session, you don't really control the outcome. You don't control what happens with the person who's receiving that session. You're just, in a sense, transmitting energies or frequencies and depending on the resonance and reception that occur, the person you are sharing that with may experience various healing effects. So the skill of the practitioner involves their ability to provide a powerful field of energy, frequencies of energy that could be supporting someone's healing process and also their skill of going into resonance with connecting with, you could say, that other person. So it's the quality of that resonance and connection which will tend to have a great impact upon the outcome of the session. So therefore, if we come back to the question of healing with an in-person session relative to a remote or distance healing, the person who receives that healing session, they may have a different concept or understanding or level of comfort depending on whether they're receiving the session in person or remotely. Different people have different sensitivity to experiencing energy. So for some people, being in person with the healer allows them to have more of a tangible sense of those waves of energy. So it might be more perceptible to them that they're receiving some energy frequencies and that that's actually doing something with their energy, with their aura or energy field. And therefore, that might, might, you could say, support their own healing process, their own positive belief in the efficacy of the treatment. So in that sense, for that particular person, the in-person treatment might be more beneficial or effective than a remote treatment where they're not perce as perceptive of experiencing some form of energy. So the belief of the person receiving a treatment can have some influence upon the outcome or effect. Considering that, it's also possible for a person to actually experience more benefit from a remote session rather than an in-person session. In particular, if that person feels more comfortable in their environment where they're receiving it remotely. So if you're able to be comfortable, to relax, to be fully open and receptive, sitting in your home, 
rather than going to a clinic or office, then having that remote session might enable you to be more receptive to gain more benefit versus going to an office where you don't feel as relaxed or as comfortable as at ease with receiving the treatment. So that shows how things are very individual. What might be more beneficial for one person could be less beneficial for another person. You could think of that how different other forms of therapies can be effective or not depending on the receptivity and the beliefs of the recipient as well as the connection between the practitioner and the recipient. So these are some difficult to measure variables, variables in the realm of consciousness. So consciousness is a key in all aspects of healing and it can be a significant variable when it comes to in-person and remote healing sessions. For many practitioners, it's just as easy to tune into a person remotely, to feel, to sense and experience some form of resonance and transmission of energy occurring. While for the ordinary person, the lay person you could say receiving a treatment, they might not be as easily receptive or sensitive to feeling energy remotely at a distance. So it might be easier for them to experience it in person. For people that are somewhat new to energy healing, I often recommend that they try experiencing it initially in person so they'll have that more tangible sense of energy going through their energy field going through their body and so on. Once you've had that experience, it's easier to hold that positive belief in the power of this type of healing and you could then transfer that into a remote healing session you're receiving where you can understand that it's powerful and beneficial even though the practitioner might not be there physically present with you. So both in-person and distance healing sessions can be very powerful. Energy is not limited by time or space. It's more about frequency and resonance. So just having that quality of connection and being fully open and receptive to your own energy field or energy system, making a shift based upon that input that external source of energy that's supporting your own internal healing process. I hope that this particular video, this commentary, has given some insight into this topic. For those that are interested in energy healing, you can learn more visiting my website, phinsights.com. That's P-H-I-N-S-I-G-H-T-S dot C-O-M. You can also visit my Facebook professional page. That's facebook.com slash Jedi Holistic Healing. For now, I would like to wish everyone a wonderful day. Namaste.